Hi. Now here's an example which I would encourage you to have a go at purely because it comes up quite a bit or methods that work around this idea come up quite often in textbooks and in exam papers. And what we've got here is if O to A is the vector 3i minus 2j plus k, i, j and k are the unit base vectors in three dimensions, OB is the vector 4i plus j minus k, and we're given that C is a point on AB such that AC to CB is in the ratio 3 to 2. And what we've got to do is find that vector O to C. Now what I would do would be to sketch a diagram. I would just put down my points A and B. They can be absolutely anywhere you like. And we need to have an origin. Let's say our origin O is there. So we've got the vector O to A and we've got the vector O to B. Let's call the, or write the vector O to A in as a column vector. We've got it as 3, minus 2, 1. And we've got the vector O to B as 4, 1, minus 1. So where's this point C on AB? Well, let's just draw a line from A to B. We're told that we have got this point C somewhere on here such that AC to CB is in the ratio 3 to 2. So it's going to be somewhere about there, say. Three parts here to two parts here. If you like, I could kind of divide this up into little sections. Three sections there and two equal sections there. So there's our point C. And what we've got to do is find that vector O to C. Let's put in that that's three parts to two parts. So how are we going to get O to C? Well, what we need to do is break this down into several sections. The first thing I'm going to do is find out what the vector A to B is. So we'll start with A to B. How am I going to get from A to B? Well, A to B is exactly the same as going from A to O followed by O to B. In other words, A to O is minus O to A, then plus O to B. But I could write this as O to B minus O to A, rather than minus O to A plus O to B. OK, O to B. What's O to B? Well, it's the vector 4, 1, minus 1. So if we write this down as a column vector, 4, 1, minus 1, then we need to subtract the other vector, O to A, which is 3, minus 2, 1. OK? And if we work this out, what we'll get is 1, 3, minus 2. Now that we've got A to B, we can get the vector A to C. So what is A to C going to be? Well, it relies on A to B because we now know that it is three out of five parts, three fifths the way along A to B. So we've got that A to C is three fifths A to B. So we can write that one in then as three fifths of one, three minus two. So three fifths of the one is going to be three fifths. 3 fifths of the 3 is going to be 9 fifths and 3 fifths of the minus 2 is going to be minus 6 fifths. So there's our vector A to C. Now that we've got A to C we can get O to C because O to C is going to be O to A followed by A to C. Let's just write that in as O to A followed by A to C. So we've got our vector O to A, which we know is 3 minus 2, 1. Let's write that in, 3 minus 2, 1. 
and we've got to add it to our vector a to c which was 3 fifths, 9 fifths and minus 6 fifths. And if you work this one out you find that o to c comes out at 18 fifths minus 1 fifth and another minus 1 fifth. OK? So that gets us our vector O to C. Or you could write this as 18 fifths I minus a fifth J and then minus another fifth K. Totally up to you. OK, well that brings us now to the end of this example.